Hello, my name is Patricia Hernandez. In today's demo, I'd like to show you the new features of Project 2010. In this demo, I will only show you some of the basic new features of Project 2010. If you'd like to see more videos on Project 2010 new features and Project 2013 new features, you can contact me via email at thinkpatricia at yahoo.com. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our demo. One of the new enhancements, which I found to be quite major, for anyone who has utilized Office since it's you know been created, um, the ribbon would be the most obvious new enhancement to this application. Now, the ribbon is not new to 2010 software. If you are familiar with 2007 Microsoft products, then perhaps you have, you know, acquainted yourself with the ribbon in Word, PowerPoint, and probably Excel, most commonly used programs in the Office world. Unfortunately, the ribbon was not made available in Outlook 2007 or Project 2007. And I'm quite sure a lot of project users were glad about that because the menus, you know, obviously we, we've been utilizing them for, you know, quite some time. But the change has finally been integrated into 2010 Microsoft Project. So as you can see across the top, we have a series of tabs. Uh, they range from the File tab to the Format tab. Now the Patricia's Tools tab, I actually added this myself. And the nice bonus feature with the ribbon in 2010 software period is that you can customize the ribbon and you can simply add your own you know, commands to you know simplify your workflow and hopefully this will increase pro productivity. So basically um, if you go through the ribbon as you see me doing you will see that there are different categorized cuts that you will find and once again the Patricia's tools I pretty much added these myself these are some of the most common things that I like to use when I actually use project 2010 and then depending on what view you're in or object you're selected on, the format tab is likely to change to give you options based on where your cursor is or what view you're using. So this tab is likely to change the most. Uh, if anything, the other tabs will not change at all. Now I would like to show you a few other enhancements uh, going across the top of your Gantt chart view is a timeline bar that goes from left to right and it pretty much indicates the project start and finish date and you can actually customize this view you can change the size of the view you can change uh, the colors and there's a whole lot of different things you can do with it um, but for now I'm just gonna leave it the way that it is your default view is still the Gantt chart view like it was in previous project application programs. So that really hasn't changed um, as much. Um, however, um, there are some things that are definitely going to stand out. Um, now at the lower left hand corner of the screen, you can actually indicate how your task will be scheduled. And basically in the new version of Project 2010, tasks are calculated um, differently. For example, um, they're actually manually scheduled, which means the task dates are not going to automatically update. Um, auto schedule does the complete opposite. Uh, it basically is calculated by project. So I guess it depends on your s scenario, what you're, what you're de dealing with. So basically you can choose either auto scheduled or manually scheduled. Now these little icons to the left here are basically um, you know useful if you need to switch let's say to your calendar view back to your Gantt chart view or even like your network diagram view and you can pretty much add you know right click in your mouse and it's called view bar to turn it off it won't be turned on by default so you can right click when you first get you know the program installed and then you turn it on 
And then the quick access toolbar, which two places. It's not like the old Microsoft programs where you could actually put toolbars all over the place, which was really insane. But now uh, you can add shortcuts to it like you could in the older versions. And you can pretty much move it. You kind of get lost uh, when you put it above the ribbon. But if you go below the ribbon, uh, they're a little bit easier to see and you know get to. So basically, like I said, you can add your own commands to the ribbon, and you can add shortcuts to the quick access toolbar. I think the biggest challenge with Project 2010 is the ribbon. Once you get acquainted with the ribbon, and you're able to, you know, uh, you'll be fine. I'll tab what we call the backstage view, and what you pretty much do here is kind of use the options that you see here. Also information on the right about your project file. And of course if you go down to options on the left here, this will open up the project 2010 project options dialog box. And there's a whole you can, you know, get start taking advantage of. One of my favorite things there's customization options such as customized ribbon. And basically, if I go to Patricia, you can actually see all the cuts there. And as you can see, I have a few already. So basically, um, what I can do is I can just add uh, some shortcuts such as. Already scheduled, just click add. And then maybe point. And you can move the shortcuts up or down, but I'm actually going to keep them where they are. See the shortcuts here? Scroll to task is really helpful. So anything that you feel that you're, you know, obviously going to use the most, you may want to add that to your own section of the ribbon. It just makes things a lot easier. Now the import and export option that you see Okay. And if I go back to my section Patricia's tools, you can actually see that I have those buttons there. So if I click on to hands and I click the new button here, scroll to task, my Gantt chart view um, basically has moved a little to kind of reflect uh, that particular task and the Gantt bar that goes along with it. So like I said, a ribbon, I think that will help you tremendously. And this does not apply to just project. If you're using any Microsoft program 2010 or later, especially 2010 or 2013, you can take advantage of all the customization options and settings. I know because I do. So like I said, this is just a short demo on Project 2010 New Features. For more information, like I said, you can contact me, Patricia Hernandez at thinkpatricia at yahoo.com. Thank you for spending some time with me and watching my video. Have a great day.